Good afternoon, everyone. And thank you, especially for attending this webinar. I would like you to introduce you to Mariluz Pomares. She's the director of the career department in Fundesen Business School. She's a psychologist specialist in human resources. She holds an MBA and a degree also in human resources. She has more than 15 years experience, recruitment and talent management. She also has participated in projects with different groups having difficulties finding employment. I hope you will enjoy this webinar. I, I would like to inform you as well, if you have any question, you can do it the last five minutes of the webinar. Okay, enjoy. Mariluz, you can start. Thank you very much, Berta. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Well, we have prepared this webinar for you because we think it's more it's very, very important to be prepared to answer to the questions. Uh, do you think uh, are you ready to handle five killer interview questions? This is a good answer. Good question that we are going to answer here. In this webinar, we will prepare you to answer killer questions like what is your long-term objective, what is the most difficult situation you have had to face and how did you take off it, what is your greatest weakness and why have you applied for this particular job and also what kind of salary do you need. All these questions are relative uh, are easy, but may, they can uh, be very difficult depending on the on the situation. For example, uh, uh, a question like "Tell me about yourself." For example, it might seem like an easy, open question anyone can answer correctly without much effort. Well, actually, you couldn't be more wrong. "Tell me about yourself" does not mean "Tell me everything." Why? Well, what the hiring panel really wants to hear is a brief account of who you are and why you are the best candidate for this particular job. Tell me about yourself requires talk about you've done to prepare yourself for the position and use a recent example to back it up. You should go on for about two to three minutes and then ask if they would like to hear some more details. If they do, keep using examples to prove how your background and experience were useful in real life business situation. Well, this is a common question and it should be uh, the first question that the interviewer should make you. Another question, what is your long term outlook? It is vital to have a clear vision on how your career to look in the next five years or so and how to make this vision come true. So what should you say? Keep your answer fairly general. Express your interest in a long-term career and demonstrate you are enthusiastic and you are patient for this position. The most important thing is be honest. Focus on your most important goal and how you are going to reach it. It is vital to have a clear vision of how your career should look in the next five years or so on how to make this vision come true. For example, within the next five years, I would like to become the best team leader your company has ever hired. I want to work toward becoming an expert in managing others. I am confident that I will be fully prepared to take on any future responsibilities which might be presented to me in the long run. For example, here is what I am presently doing to prepare myself for a managing position. Let's see another question. What is the most difficult situation you have had to face and how did you tackle it? Well, this question uh, is very common in interviews. Um, why, why the interviews use this, this question? Well, uh, normally we need to know we need to know if the person is prepared to handle and has the skills that is required for the, the position. Uh, for example, 
What you should say? Well, keep your answer partly general. I recommend being specific because general answers tend to be bland and easily forgettable. Stress your interest in a long-term career at the company. However, remember that the organization is going to be interesting in a long time and is spending a lot of time, energy, money, and they need to know that you are enough to be a good investment for them. Demonstrate your passion is very important. Make it clear that you are motivated to take on this opportunity right now. Example, answer to where do you see yourself in five years? For example, I want to work for an organization where I can build a career. That's why uh, it's very important because they are going to spend a lot of money and time and you must be the best option for them. This response also is strongly expressed a desire for a long term career with the company. Well, uh, you have a big opportunity here to sell the interview you are the best person for the position. For example, uh, how not to answer in, uh, this question? Well, don't overthink it. For example, don't say, well, that's a very hard question. I don't know what I'll be doing in five years. Mm. Don't be too specific. A plan, for example, don't say, I plan to be a VP at major firms. It's good to be ambitious. It's good uh, to have goals. However, if you are too specific, you run the risk of setting goals that are not realistic for the company. From the interviewer's perspective, that means you are not good fit. Uh, other thing you shouldn't do is don't be flappy. For example, don't say, I'd love to be CEO in five years. Don't do that. Don't raise red flags. What I mean? Well, I'm not sure. I'm thinking about law school or business school or clone college. Also, there are some career paths that require advanced degrees and other additional training, for example. Many financial and management consulting career paths require MBA. In this case, it will be expected that your five-year plan will include more schooling. Take the time to think about these questions and prepare a response. Practice how you will describe your long-term career plans. It's very important. You, you should be the best person for the job, and you have to demonstrate. Another question could be, what is your greatest weakness? Wow, this, is very, this question is very scary, very scary. What is the most difficult situation No lo sé. Bueno, te preguntaré a Berta si te escuchas, porque me he dejado de oír. ¿Berta, me escuchas? No. Para mí creo todo, pero... ¿Me escuchas ahora? No. ¿Nada? ¿Del principio nada más? No, 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 de, de ahora. Del principio no, de ahora. Esto que hago aquí es algo mejor. Pues no sé. A ver, hablarle ahora, pregúntale. Hola, Berta, ¿estás ahí? Hola, Berta, ¿me escuchas?
Or we're gonna put it. Hola, Berta, ¿me escuchas? No, no te contesto. Berta, ¿no escuchas a Maridú? Pues... ¿Qué? ¿A Marilu sí que la escuchan? Ah, vale. Ah, vale, perfecto. Pues nada, que siga entonces, vale, es un problema nuestro. Vale. Sí que te escucho, Marilu, perdona. Sí. Ok, sorry about this. We continue with the webinar. Well, we are in the question, what is your greatest weakness? Well, you have two alternatives. Use a protective weakness such as lack of experience, not ability. When you part in an area that is not vital for the job, describe a personal or professional weakness that you have been working on improving. Here are the mistakes that they typically make you might be able to relate. For example, a mistake is trying to turn a negative into a positive, refusing to answer the question, or revealing a weakness and raising the flag. Well, I can give you some, well, uh, what uh, I used to tell the people by asking these questions is that uh, the most important thing in this, uh, for example, weakness is very, very hard to say, but you can respond to any weakness you are trying to improve. And you can demonstrate your interview that you are working hard to be to get more skills or more abilities. And this is very, very important. Another question is Why have you applied for this particular job? Well, the interview is looking for asking, asking about company or position. The hiring manager wants to learn about your career goals, how this position fits into your plan. Make sure that you are seriously interested in the job and will be motivated to perform it higher. Find out what you know about the company, industry, position, Understand your priorities and preference. Which aspects of the company and job are appealing, appealing to you and why? However, you must approach each part of the question in the, the very, very different ways, of course. Well, another question, very, very important, is uh, about difficult, difficulties you can face and how to resolve it. For example, uh, the interviewer might ask a question regarding difficult situation and how to handle them in order to assess your ability to work under stress and pressure. You have to explain to the interviewer how to actually handle the situation and why you choose that way. Well, uh, interviewers uh, like to answer behavioral interview questions handling conflicts. Here are a few examples to conflict-related behavioral questions. For example, uh, tell me about a team project when you have to work with someone difficult. Tell me about a time you had a conflict at work. Give me an example of a time you had to respond to an unhappy manager, customer, or colleague. Tell me about a time that you disagree with a rule or approach. Well, why interviews ask about conflicts? 
country questions are more common because everybody wants to hire a good team player. So you shouldn't be a difficult person because you shouldn't take the job. For example, more tips of handling behavioral questions about war conflicts. Pick a good example, choose an example that shows you taking an active approach to resolving an important conflict. Be specific. Don't give a general answer like, I deal with conflict all the time and have learned to stay calm and that communication is key, it's boring and it doesn't answer the question. Don't choose a minor disagreement. Try to, to be good problem solving ability. You have to show your ability on problem solving. Get specific about your actions. The most memorable and compelling stories include in all detail to paint a painter. However, you must make an effort to keep the story um, very, very similar. It's very easy to go off, uh, especially if you haven't prepared in advance. Well, it's very important to practice, practice, and practice. Take the time to practice telling your story. This is especially important when telling a story about a conflict. Well, uh, let's go to uh, what is your greatest witness. I want to say something else about the, the witnesses. For example, uh, however, this question has become a cliche for a reason. Uh, interviewers continue to ask it even though uh, they know the people are not 100% honest. So why uh, they keep asking this question? Because the way you answer a question about your weaknesses is very telling. Well, I'm going to show you some mistakes um, are typical making for the persons. You may be able to relate. Trying to turn a negative into a positive, it's important, uh, for example, a few examples. I'm not too much uh, of a perfectionist. I work too hard sometimes. I care too much about my work. It's important uh, not refusing uh, to answer the question. And the most important is to be honest and smart, because this is a very, very killer question. Well. Uh, let's pass another question, very, very important, in interviews and very, very common. Well, we were talking before, why have you applied for this particular job? Well, I'm going to show you, uh, answering the question, why do you want to work here? Well, this is very common. The hiring manager wants to learn about your career goals and how this position fits into the plan. Make sure that you are sincerely interested in the job and will be motivated to perform if hired. Find out what you know about the company, industry, position. Understand your, your preference. Which aspects of the company or job are appealing to you and why? However, you must approach each part of the question the different ways. Uh, well, this reason could include one or several of the following. Company, general reputation, reputation of key leaders, admiration products, company awards, company values, company positions, a two general answer that could apply to any company. Well, I'm going to give you a sample. What do you like about this company? What can we say in this question? Well, uh, for example, we can say, I will be proud to work for a company with such a long history of leadership in the industry. Also, a good friend of the company has been working in corporate finance and this company for the last two years. And he told me that the culture supports learning and development of the job. Well, another example, what do you like about this company is I, I saw an article in Business Week about your new CEO and the terms 
really we focus on technology innovation. I consider myself a person I would like to love to work for an organization that's leading the future of the industry. Well, this is some things we can say and are very important. So, why are you interested in the job? Well, common mistake, uh, we are you interested in the job. For example, a two general answer that could apply to any position. For example, uh, don't be enthusiastic answering uh, these questions. I'm going to give you an example. Why are you interested in this job? I feel that my proven track record is leading multifunctional teammates and I think I'm going to be excellent in this job. Also the world excites me because I love the idea of helping to develop um, these, these vessels. Uh, I'm going to be very good in my vessels in this job. Well, I have to prepare another, another question. That is, what kind of salary do you need? Well, uh, well, this is very, very killer question because it's a question that can't catch anyone of guard unless you have done some research and know precisely what your expectations are. Try to avoid being the first to put the figure on the table. The best way to do this is by stating that your salary expectancy depends on the amount of responsibility you have to take in on. Do not have a specific amount in mind and do not be afraid to ask for more than the average industry weight. It is much better to provide your interview with a wide range rather than a specific sum. For example, I did ask around and I know that marketing managers doing a similar job in the field earns about 3,700 a month. Given that, my job would also require organizing three training seminars a month. I would expect my salary to range between 4,000 euros and 4,500. Well, what salary should you ask for? Well, the best way is to state a salary range, not one specific number. This is very important. You should have a clear idea of what the job may pay and what you are worth in your professional field. Well, the best answer to salary question in an interview is the salary is not part of what I'm looking for. It's not the best part that I'm looking for. In the uh, in the, if the interviewer persists and asks you a second time, you might need to give them an approximation idea. For example, I'm looking a range of minimum to maximum. Well, it's better than to, to say a specific sum. Should you disclose your current salary in an interview? Well, uh, I currently earn X basic plus, my bonus. I understand that the salary here might be initial lower uh, because what I really want is to work in this company. Well, this question is one of the hardest questions in an interview and it's very powerful but uh, what I say to the people who ask me is don't mention a song. The most important is to talk about your skills, about your abilities and then we will talk about the money, but the most important thing is the, the person that is making the interview knows your, knows your abilities, knows your compromise with the company, and that really that person is uh, interested in your company, in the position, and this is the most important thing in the interview. So when someone asks you uh, about the salary, it's very important to be prepared for the answer. Uh, some people don't prepare the answer and then uh, they are of work. Uh, I don't know what to say, well, I don't think, I haven't think about it. Normally, this question uh, should appear at the end of the interview, um, probably in the second or the third interview, but we have to prepare what has to say in these questions. Well, apart from this question, there are too much more, but uh, 
here, I can repeat these are the most common questions. Tell me about yourself, what is your long term objective, what is the most difficult situation do you have had to face, and how did you take it? What is your greatest weakness? What have you applied for this particular job? What kind of salary do you need? Well, I'm sure we have finished with this webinar, and I'm sure you are ready to answer killer interview questions. Anyway, if you have any questions, I'm here to hear what you, you want to know. Thank you very much. Uh, hi, Mariluz. I would like to ask you something. I, in an interview, if they ask me why do I want to leave my current employer, uh, what shall I answer? W what shall I say? Thank you. Well, the, the most important thing is uh, not think about them in negative terms. It is not appropriate to mention financial condition as your primary reason for living. Focus on the working environment and state how you are looking for a new experience, more responsibility, experience and change of ambience. I think it's a good, a good response. Okay, thank you. Uh, anybody else? Any any question? We have uh, five minutes for questions. If you have any doubt about the webinar, okay. There is a question: How to deal when the how to deal when the interviewer says you are not the person who we are looking for? Well, normally this question appears, but uh, probably what we are looking for is how you respond this question, how you argue this question. Because uh, normally we try to find out abilities, and one ability is, for example, to be able to answer questions that uh, show you that are a very person that knows that really you are very prepared for this position. So don't take care about this question. And the most important thing, ask really your skills and to ask why you are prepared for that job and keep saying your abilities, your skills, and don't take care about this question. It's very, very common. Uh, Daniel, yes, we can share the slides uh, with you tomorrow. Okay, there is another question, Mariluz. How could we minimize the fact that we have been unemployed for long, for a long time? Okay, this question should appear because uh, now, uh, well, uh, some, pers some people uh, are unemployed a long time, but the most important answer is to tell your story and tell that you are been looking for a job and you you are being studying, you are being preparing to be a good professional. And the most important is uh, don't emphasize that you have been not working. Uh, tell the interview, tell in the interview that you are prepared, you have been studying, you have been preparing your English, improving your skills um, and the most important, tell the person that you are very, very interested to work because uh, this time you have been not working, uh, you have had the opportunity to prepare to be a good professional. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Mariluz, and thank you for all the attendance. Thanks for attending this webinar. And uh, I, I will, we will hope to, to see you soon in, in a new webinar with the FBS, FBT. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.